QuickBooks Online 2024 Profit and Loss Export to Excel. Get ready and some trail mix because we're taking a quick trip with QuickBooks Online 2024. Here we are online in our browser searching for QuickBooks Online test drive, looking for the result that has Intuit.com in the URL, Intuit being the owner of QuickBooks, selecting the United States version of the software and verifying that we're not a robot. Opening up our major financial statement reports like we do every time, the reports are on the left hand side. First, a word from our sponsor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, actually, we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But but that's okay, whatever. Because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like our Accounting Rocks product line. If you're not crunching cords using Excel, you're doing it wrong. A must-have product because... The fact, as everyone knows, of accounting being one of the highest forms of artistic expression means accountants have a requirement, the obligation, a duty to share the tools necessary to properly channel the creative muse. And the muse, she rarely speaks more clearly than through the beautiful symmetry of spreadsheets. So get the shirt, because the creative muse she could use a new pair of shoes. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. Within our favorite reports, right clicking on that balance sheet, open link in a new tab, right clicking on the profit and loss, otherwise known as the income statement, open link in new tab, go into that middle tab, closing up the ham boogie, scrolling up so we can change that range. Going from 01023 tab, 123 tab, run it to refresh it, tabbing on over to the right, closing the hamburger, scrolling up so we can change that range once again. Going from 01023 tab, 123 tab, run it to refresh it. So now we want to think about presenting our reports once again to, say, a client this time using the format of exporting to Excel and using Excel possibly to do some further formatting of the reports, giving a bit more of a special touch to them that might differentiate us from others, and then using a PDF printer to, to print all of the reports on one PDF file. So a quick recap, if we're giving reports to somebody else, we can email it to them with an attachment, but we probably want to zip the file. We can print it, but these days a lot of stuff is electronic. We can export it to Excel, but you don't typically want to give an Excel file to somebody else. However, you can use Excel to format the file and then, uh, and then use a PDF printer to put it on one PDF file, which is what we'll do this time. We can export it as a PDF, possibly giving it to people as a to our client as a uh, zipped file in an email or possibly on a cloud drive amazon cloud OneDrive, something like that dropbox and we looked at the management report which is another format that can allow us to put it on one pdf file however there are some limitations with that because we don't have as much customization as we would if we export the files to excel which is what we will do this time now last in, in our last section, we created this file from our uh, reports on the balance sheet. And then we made this balance sheet report from it. So we had three types of balance sheets on it. So now we'll do a similar process adding to this. Now if you have if you don't have this file, that's okay. You could just start a new uh, file and then add reports. But we're just going to add some tabs to our balance sheet reports which will be the income statement format type reports so that we can put them all on one PDF file using a PDF printer. So let's check that out. So I've got to make the reports again. I'll do it fairly quickly because we've seen them in the past. No matter what our method is, whether it be the management report, PDF reports, and so on, using the customization tool might be the best way to go so that we can have an easy format to create our external reports uh, at the end of the month. So let's do that again quickly. I'm going to say first, let's let's collapse up here. 
I'm going to call this our summary balance sheet. So I'm going to call it an or income statement, income statement summary. And then I will copy that name. I'm going to customize the report, do the normal customization. No sense, negative numbers bracketed, red header and footer. Let's get rid of the date, time, report, basis. Goodbye, those things. And there it is, it looks MUI B to the end, BN. So we're going to save customization, put it in a new group, which is going to be called month and reports. And then I'm going to add that. There is our group. I'm going to put a number four after this one because that's the report that we're on uh, in here. Uh, report number four, which I have here. So I'll save that. Uh, let's save it to do it and we'll say save it. Let's go to the first tab, see if it showed up in the customized area, refreshing the screen so it can figure out what's going on here. There it is. So there's our drop down. Boom. It doesn't have the report within it, though. That is muy extraño. Strange. We're going to say let's save customization and on the income statement. Let's do it again. Save customization. Save it. I told you to save it and maybe I didn't tell you to do it. Maybe I forgot to tell you. Maybe it's my fault. Maybe it's my fault. Okay. I accept responsibility for that one particular error, but usually it's your fault. QuickBooks. Any case, let's let's do a vertical analysis this time so we can select. Uh, let's expand it and then we'll do a vertical analysis. We'll do percent of the income and then run it. So there we have that change in the name income statement. Vertical vertical analysis. Boom, I'm going to copy that. Copy that. And let's customize. Let's save the customization on that one. And I'm going to call this one. This should be number income statement. This should be number five, which I didn't number the last one. Let's save that. Let's go back to the first tab. Check it out. Refreshing. This one, I didn't put a, a name on this one. That one should be number four. I'm going to edit it. I did that on purpose so I can show you that we can edit that. Put a four here. Boom. And then save it. And, and then I can fix it thusly. And then let's do one more. We'll do a, a just a quarter by quarter report. So I'll bring this back to the norm and then dropping down the quarters. We'll say let's do a quarter by quarter and I'll change the name. Once again, income statement QT. I'll just say Q by quarter by quarter. And then I'll copy that and then we'll save customization again. And so I'm going to boom. I'm going to say this is going to be number six. Duh, duh. Income statement by quarter. Okay, let's go back to the first tab, run it again to refresh it. There are our reports. Now, if I didn't have these open and it, as months passed under this method, I could do the same thing. I would have my four, three balance sheet reports and then my income statement reports. I would open them one at a time. Since I can't right click and open in a new tab, I can go in here, right click, duplicate. And then I'm going to open up the first one. And this time I'm going to export it to Excel. So I'm going to export it to Excel. Boom, opens it up right there. I'm just going to open it up. Now, if, if you're practicing this and you don't have the other report already open, then you can make this your, your save this as your income statement reports and use this as the one that you're going to put all your tabs on. We already have one over here with our balance sheet on it. So I want to move this report to that other one in a new tab. Easiest way to do that, right click on the tab down below, save or move. And then I'm going to move it to this file, which will only be there if you have the two files open. So I'll select that one and then move it. And then it moves it right there. So now I'm going to drag it to the right. And I'm going to drag it to the right. So I have my balance sheet stuff and then our profit loss. I'm going to double click on it, 
call it p and l summary and then i usually go to the layout tab to the right back to the left i could see it fits on one page i might want to make it a little bit larger so i might select for example what i'm going to do is is un undo these uh the mergings here uh, maybe i don't need to do that i'll i'll select column a right click and i'm going to insert another column and then i just want to make sure that these two columns are the same length and so now i've kind of centered the reports between those two columns that's one way that you can do it you might like i like to make this one a little bit smaller so it's not oh hold on a second this one a little bit smaller and then have this one be the wider column if there's going to be a wide column and then maybe increase the margins a bit uh, uh, this way till it fits like that something like that right you can play and then and then if you want the header to be to be a different color or something we saw last time we made the header maybe we just do the header in here like black and white and then you can put like borders around it if you wanted to put borders around it although if you did that you'd have to then put your underlines with like this kind of underline just saying there's a lot of different styles that you can do in here you can change the font you can do a lot of different stuff you don't want to go overboard with it because it takes time and you want to be consistent with it but that can give that can give you some differentiation from what other people are doing and if i go to the first tab now and i was to go to my print preview then i could see see if i look at all of the pages i want to say print the entire workbook so now i have everything that i can print on one place using my cute pdf printer all right let's go back on over again and let's just do the the other couple reports that we had here so i'll go back to the first tab same thing i'm going to right click duplicate the tab i'll drag it to the right i'll open the next report that i have income statement vertical analysis i'm going to export it to excel export it to excel open it up and then i'm just going to move that what's in that tab to the place i want it enable editing right click on the tab and then i'm going to move it and hitting the drop down to this file boom and then uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna move it there and then uh let's just keep it that i'm gonna say save it and then there it is now I'll drag this one to the right do, 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 put it over here and then this is going to be the p and l vertical analysis and so on i'll take a look at the view on this side back to this side it fits on on one page i might want to add another column over here insert a column to to have the two columns so i can have like this column and this column have the same like margin size so it's kind of centered in the middle of the page i can do the same thing with my header home tab font group black white i could put the borders around it if i wanted to do, 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 put borders around it boom i don't really need this total thing up top what's that doing there i don't know i can remove that i can remove that underline right there if i don't want it so i can do so, a little bit more formatting in here i can delete these two rows just just clean it up a bit you know and then so then we could do we can do the last one uno vase boss one more time right click duplicate dragging it to the right and then we can open up number six and close up the ham buggy we'll hit the drop down but not too hard don't break it stop breaking things for crying out loud when i said hit it you just your your mouse has been smashed into the into the table we're going to enable the editing and then once again right click on the tab down below move or copy and we'll put it into our month in reports okay dragging it to the right do 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 double click on the tab p and l this is going to be for the qt we'll say for quarter and then once again i'll go to the tab or the view to the right 
back to the left. It doesn't fit on one uh, page. You have the dotted lines right here. So you could do some formatting with it. But once again, if I couldn't format it to fit on one page, the next thing would be to go to the page layout and make it landscape. So we'll make it landscape. So there we have it. And now I can fit it within here. I can insert a column. I know I'm doing this fast, but this isn't really an Excel course, right? So I'm just trying to give some ideas. And then we can center it and we could make it black and white on the title, home tab, black, white on the title. We can put our brackets around this thing if we so choose. And we do choose so. I choose so, so we so choose. And then we're gonna go, boom. So then we have that. So I'm not saying that's the best formatting. I'm just trying to give some examples that you can do more formatting once it's in here fairly quickly. And then we can export this whole thing uh, and, ha and have them all on one file if we use a printer such as a PDF printer like the cute PDF printer. So we can say we can print it and then uh, we might be able to save it as a PDF as well, but I think the printing option is kind of the easiest. And if I print it as a PDF printer, the cute PDF printer being, I believe, a free one, I'm not affiliated with them or anything, so you can, but that's what I use, and I think it's free. And then you could select the drop down and say we want the entire workbook. And then we're not going to use the adjusting of the margins or the scaling. We don't want to use those unless we have to. I don't want to force something to fit on one page because then as I go from page to page, we'll have different text sizes and whatnot, which is what I would try to avoid. So, so here we have it. We've got our balance sheet reports that we did in a prior time. And I know the formatting is kind of ugly and not consistent, but I'm just trying to give some ideas of the different formattings that you could use. And then here's going to be our uh, income statement and then our different income statement formats. So there we have it. And if I export this or print it, let's print it. And it goes to the cute PDF printer. I'm just going to overwrite the last one we did for the reports and let's save it save it and then we'll go in here and check it out so we'll go in and look at it so so like i say my formatting might not be the best format it's not consistent at all but i'm just giving some ideas of what you can do and let's go to the income statement reports here's the income statement reports notice this one was the one that we had landscape but it still shows as a vertical report uh with the pdf printer which is nice, right? That makes it nice and clean. So the landscape is not as big as an issue if you're giving it to someone in a PDF format as it was when you had to staple things because then you had to staple it sideways, right? So it doesn't stick out and look funny in the other reports, which was kind of weird. So you can see the differences between the styles of reports. You can do a lot to this style of report. You can look at it compared to... Uh, uh, if I was to print it this way, here's the preview that, that it looks like here. So here's this one, the style of report, which is pretty clean and nice. But like I say, you might want to make it look a little bit different. And then you can compare that to the style of reports if you use the manage report tool previewing this report, which gives you a header. You can put a header in Excel too. So I could make another tab with a header on it and a footer tab if I wanted to. And so I can make a pretty nice header and footer, although possibly not as easily as if I use like Word, a, a word processing software, but pretty easily. And you could probably, uh, you could integrate Word and Excel if you wanted to get really fancy uh, with it. But we have the reports that actually look like this, right? So here's our, our uh, reports. Do, 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 do. Here, these are the default reports, so it's in the current year. A little bit different look and feel on this one as well, which looks nice, but you can't really do much from that standard default basis, which you can do on uh, on Excel. If you want to change the colors and stuff like that, depends, you know, you can uh, in, in Excel do that a lot more than you could if, with, uh, with like a, uh, a QuickBooks, which might make it stand out a little bit and make it a little bit more personal uh, uh, and, and make it look like you put a little bit more care into it possibly. So that is that.